Time for a bit of fundamental physics. All things follow at the same rate under gravity. And that's because they're following geodesics through curved space-time, but that's not important. The important thing for biology is that although everything falls at the same rate, it doesn't meet the same fate when it hits the ground. A grape bounces. A melon doesn't bounce. Now, the reasons for that are quite complex, actually. First of all, the grape has a larger surface area in relation to its volume, and therefore its mass, than the melon. And so, although in a vacuum, if you took away the air, they would both fall at the same rate, actually, in reality, the grape falls a bit slower than the melon. Also, the melon is more massive, and so it has more kinetic energy when it hits the ground. Remember from physics class, kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So if you reduce m, you reduce the energy. The upshot of that is that the melon has a lot more energy when it hits the ground. It has to dissipate it in some way, and it dissipates it by exploding. The influence of Earth's gravity on your life becomes progressively diminished the smaller you get. For life at the small scale, a second fundamental force of nature starts to dominate. And it's this that explains many of those apparent superpowers. For me, the force of gravity is the thing that defines my existence. It's the, it is the force that I really feel the effects of. But there are other forces at work. For example, if I lick my finger and wet it, then I can pick up a piece of paper. I can hold it up against the downward pull of gravity. That's because the force of electromagnetism is important. In fact, it's the cohesive forces between water molecules and the molecules that make up my finger and the molecules that make up the paper that are dominating this particular situation. And that's why this piece of paper doesn't fall to the floor. Now, many insects can use a similar effect 